everybody, in today's video I want to talk about the absurd obsession of going to space by these billionaires such as Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. Richard and Jeff have both been in the news for the past few days and I think actually Richard had a much cooler flight but anyways they are all trying to get to space and uh, kind of make commercial space travel a reality. I think it's ridiculous, I don't think it, it makes any sense to be honest. Before you critique me uh, for holding back down the scientific progress and expanding our species into multi-planetary species across our galaxy let me ask you a question. How does it help you that we are able to live our lives outside of this planet? Does that option answer the most pressing concerns of our species? Who are we? How did we get here? How did life evolve on this planet? Where am I gonna go when I die? Is there nothing? There's no purpose? Or is there anything beyond that point? And what's the purpose of my existence? And going to space will never answer that sort of problem. For me the, the claim that this is somehow opening up our minds and our species is ridiculous because if you think far into the future what's the reality of our solar system? Well our solar system at some point is gonna explode. Well not the solar system, the sun is going to get bigger and it's gonna explode and everything will be destroyed. Okay you might say hey we'll be outside of our solar system, somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy. Well, sure, that can be true. Maybe we'll be even beyond the Milky Way galaxy. However, if we know that the speed of light is not gonna change and it's the most speed we can actually afford and there's no kind of like a black hole we can just jump in and go through a wormhole to another multi-universe, we're probably gonna stick in the Milky Way galaxy for a while and we know the Milky Way galaxy will at some point merge with the Andromeda galaxy. This is well known. And this will cause a giant disruption and a crazy firework of supernovas explosions. And this is gonna happen because they are getting closer together, scientists confirm this. So at some point there will be a merge between our galaxies. Wait a second, maybe beyond, we'll, we'll come up with something new by that. Let's look at that. What is the ultimate end of the universe? Regardless of where you are, at some point the universe will expand forever. It's not gonna shrink, it's gonna expand forever, it's expanding and it's speeding up the expansion so the objects are getting away from each other more and more at some point very far in the future as Stephen Hawking predicted there will be no matter in the universe it's gonna be 99.9 percent .9 nothing except black holes floating around now it will take maybe trillions of years for black holes to vaporize into nothingness but that will also occur. So at some point there will be complete nothingness in our space. So now let's look at the today's you know, efforts. We're going to space, we're going to do space travel, we're gonna explore Mars. How is that gonna help us if that scenario is inevitable? Now that may look depressing, like, oh, we're all gonna die. But doesn't it make sense to look into, okay, yes, we are gonna die, admit it. You will die, whether through space expansion or something will happen to you and bus will hit you. You will be dead at some point. Very soon you will die, whether in 10 years, 20 or 50, it's gonna be soon. It's not gonna be like you're gonna be here forever. So just come to grips, grips with your inevitable death. That's the first step you need to take. If you keep living in this illusion that you will live forever or that somehow this space travel is gonna help us, you're, you're living in the dream world, in, in a fantasy world. Realize that we will all going to die at some point. So doesn't it make sense to look more into what what is possibly to happen when we die? Is it really nothingness? And really, re really think about this. Can it be really nothing? That question needs to be answered because otherwise you will live a life full of these fake goals which will eventually not get you anywhere. If you want to go to universe, let's study the universe. Let's ask simple questions. Was there a beginning to this universe or is it infinite? No, we know there was a beginning. It's called the Big Bang. That's how the expansion started because we know it's speeding up now. And so we know there was a one point called singularity where everything was in that one point, one bit of something. I don't know what it is. Something like minus 10 blank state something. So we know there was a beginning to this universe. So it is not infinite. All right, so let's just use logic and rational argument. All right, what happened before the Big Bang? Doesn't it make sense to study that more? Because if you claim that, no, it, nothing. Can something come from nothing? Just like really be realistic. How can the entire universe come from nothing? Like there's nothing. Imagine nothing, you can't even imagine it. And now it creates the universe. 
plus it creates evolution, natural selection, all these human or planets, everything. That all came from nothing. There was just random mutations, chemicals came together. But how did they come together if they didn't exist? How did they pop into existence from nothing? Are things popping into existence from nothing around you? Is it possible that the universe came from nothing? Or did it come from something? Did it come from some whatever it was? Something pushed it to existence. Now, you want to call it multiverse, you can. You want to call it God, you can do that as well. Or you can call it a necessary existence. Or you can call it a higher power. Anything like that is something the first mover, the prime mover of the creation of our universe. And that is the question you should be looking at because that question will answer the question, what's going to happen when you die? What's the purpose of your life? and all these things. So I think we're wasting our time going to space when we should be really looking within and studying actually the behavior and figuring out like, okay, what, how did the universe get here? First of all, it's going to end. Okay. We figured that out. And so there's no purpose to it other than if we figure out if there's a creator. So if somebody created the universe, then there is a purpose because the creator had created the universe with a purpose. What is this thing that created the universe? Does it have a plan? Does it have a will? Is it conscious of the, our, of the creation of us? Is it communicating with us? Sounds spooky, but hey, this is what it is. Doesn't it make more sense to really think deeply about, okay, what's the beginning of the universe? How did the universe get to be? How did everything get to be in this universe? Does the multiverse theory make sense? Does the string theory make, make sense? Does it answer the question, who's the prime mover? Or is it the infinite regress of like, who created this universe, this universe, this universe? Like, is there a necessary existence at some point needed to 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 explain all this or can i live without it so thank you so much for watching and i just hope i uh, gave you another perspective on these space travel adventures of richard branson elon musk or jeff bezos see you later debating truth